Mickey Gemini here with the Lion's Den podcast. A few things that may help. Quick comprehensive video and stuff that helped me. All mental. All mental. All stuff's good for your mental health. There's a mental health crisis on the rise. And I wanted to share with you guys a few things that helped me deal with my own stuff so let's get crack right into it with this quick video so check this out there's journaling a lot of people know about that there's different types of journaling that I worked on there is just keeping records just keeping a chronicle of all the media specifically all the media that you consume like videos music stuff that matters things like that And then there's another chronicle. You keep a detailed personal account of all the instances that are extremely damaging to your mental health from potent anger. Like stuff that just gets you angry. Write that in a separate chronicle in a separate journal. Music theory book. Making a whole book on music theory and all of and then even making it into putting them into preserving them into nice plastic sleeves the best way to do that is you go to Walgreens pick up some plastic sleeves pick up a three ring binder and then all the information that you gather on music theory put it into you know write it down or type it whatever you gotta do and then put it in the sleeves and then you have a binder Three ring binders are excellent for all kinds of stuff. I've also made a yoga journal binder from when I was subscribed to Yoga Journal Magazine. It's no longer Yoga Journal Magazine. Now it's Outsiders or something like that. Anyway, yoga is also essential. Essentially good for everything. And you have to really moder- you have to monitor and moderate how, what, what you're consuming in terms of foods and liquids and as well as media but all that stuff you keep track of it and yourself and then it helps i kept track of it myself and it's helped me stand on my own two feet so that's good and uh so there's the music theory book the yoga book the stuff to get you angry journal and then the records of the media concern journal next we're getting into a bunch of random stuff book songs and poetry A lot of people are inspired to become songwriters and poets nowadays. Write it down. Write it, get a book. Write it down. Have a, have a book for your songs, a book for your poetry. And novel writing, of course. Another creative outlet where you can take your imagination, your wild imagination, and do something constructive with it. Non-fiction writing as well. That includes autobiographies, write a story of your life. I know I'm anticipating very greatly on writing a story of my life, but I'll have to be exceeding the expectations of Ralph Waldo Emerson being on, like, on Walden Pond or whatever it is. I don't even know if it's Ralph Waldo Emerson, but it's on Walden Pond, you know, like all that stuff. That's, that's my expectations, you know, and whatnot, so... That's the, so that, that's where we crack into the second part here. Songs, poetry, novel writing, nonfiction writing, and just regular journaling too. Just your personal thoughts. And uh, as well, having all of this stuff separated and just having its own outlet. Each having its own little outlet of stuff where you can write everything down. And if, if words, these are all words so far, but if words aren't, tic, aren't your cup of tea, sketching, drawing, painting, mosaic making, sculpture making, if you've been following me on Instagram or checking out my Instagram page, you can see a lot of the live sculptures that I've made out of just trash, absolute garbage that I just combine and glue together. Sometimes you don't even have to glue it together, you just... 
shimmy the stuff on into some kind of sculpture from garbage. Yeah, and and that's this is this is exemplified in the stickers people put on their wa coffee mugs and water bottles, and and even you know it's against the law, it's criminal damage to property, but putting them on street signs, even putting stickers on street signs as well, it's government property, you know, stuff like that. It's just that's an example of like sculpture making and whatnot. I didn't have that one written down, but it's it's we're, we're segueing out of the words now and into the visuals sketching drawing painting and of course the more traditional and easy to do especially if you have a smartphone photography and filmography making tiktok shorts making little films like the ones that i just made um, taking pictures posting them on your instagram that's what instagram's for it's specifically for photography and uh Now that's the segue into that, and then now let's combine them both together, and we'll have ourselves we'll have ourselves right there some of the words that you put and attach to your photos on your Instagram posts for just having you know people put poems on there, and then it's saved onto your Instagram profile. These are all things of ways of expression and things that people do nowadays. Just in case you're behind on the times. Next up is a little bit less fun. This is the not fun part. Scheduling. Making a schedule and a routine and a regimen that you write down for your weekly schedule, your daily schedule, monthly schedule, yearly schedule. Even you can even go decades long. Have something you only do once every ten years or so. The possibilities are really quite endless for that, but it's good to start. And also good to hear from me, Mickey Jonah, here in the Lions Den podcast. And uh, then you, there's the the really not fun part is receipt keeping and recording, keeping and recording your receipts and where you spend your money. QuickBooks is a good app for that. I'm not advertising for free for them, but I know that it's something I would be interested in trying where, where the task is not so large. When I tried it, I had hundreds of receipts that I took pictures of to upload to, to QuickBooks. Try it with just a few, a couple handfuls of receipts. Start, start small. And then as for the last but not certainly not least the best the physical exercises waking up and doing your crunches and push-ups yoga reiki whatever it may be doing all that stuff with your your physical and combining your physical and your mental and then the best and of course your hygiene of course you know make sure that you're you, you don't have halitosis or anything you're brushing your teeth regularly and all that and then the best of all for me being a guitarist and an instrument player, a musician, doing finger exercises regularly and having an insane amount of metronome blasted into your head where you're getting your timing on. And of course, the most popular one of all, covers, doing cover songs, singing a song someone already wrote and then having it be your own little version there on your social media media this has been all the stuff that i have been doing since pandemic just on me recording it myself i know a lot of people either don't record it there's like three kinds of people now there's people who constantly only record it all on their social media they let the ai do everything for them there's the people who don't even have a smartphone and don't even use any of this technology and don't record any of it. And then there's me. There's, I'm the third. I'm the third category where I do, just I get I can come and go as I please in between both categories and record everything myself. And even if I lose the recording, it's it's whatever. It's more just the concept and it's the thought that counts of having doing it myself. It's it's getting your mental health 
good. So I hope this has been a Mickey Jam at the Lions Den Podcast. Thank you for watching. Cash at me.